allow me to welcome to the channel Green Bay Packers 50 out of 50 theme team. Where are my cheese heads at? I told you guys more theme teams was coming this year. We got our Broncos. We got a couple more on the way. I'm just waiting for them to be finished. Shout out to my boy Sam. He actually is in here with me in Australia. Big Packers fan. Allow me to use his team. And he allows me to bring it to the YouTube. Today's not a gameplay video. It's just an introductory video. Going through the team. Showcasing some of their players. The defense is loaded, fellas. T typically a team known by their offense. But as you can see in their top three. Defense is specifically loaded. And there's still more players to come. But without further ado. Let's break these down. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No one ball. All right, like I said, not gonna be a long video. I just want to say, get into the team and showcase. There will be gameplay at a later date. Obviously, at this point in time, I'm a little bit tired of being completely honest. So I just wanted to get this video out, keep my streak alive, cause I'm on five days in a row. So, Green Bay theme team, my cheese heads. Hopefully, I love this. As you can see, it's 50 out of 50 Packers. Now we do have it where it's pure Packers, um, but we're doing our 50 out of 50 Packers team with some fill-ins because they're missing, you know, left tackle and things of that nature. The only card that's missing is Jari Evans, the right guard, because he is the limited that was the limited before trainer variety packs were introduced. He's like two million coins. Obviously, you can see my man has like a million. But this is the team. Um, team is absolutely fantastic. We are rocking Dave Casper at fullback. We do have Jim Taylor here. Um, we have Keith Jackson, um, campus hero. He actually is viable on a Packers team team. He's only 6'2", 250, but he does get short and elite. So I actually run him at my third wide receiver um, and Dave Casper. Um, I got him hidden there to play uh, tight end. But we have Devontae Adams. Um, Devontae Adams, when he does get an upgrade, he's going to be one of the best receivers in months. 6'1", 215. Um, his 87 has 87 speed, and he's able to get short and elite. So he's a big, big, big player for me. Absolutely big player for me. Um, when I, cause I have played a couple with a couple of games with this team. I just didn't have time to do a gameplay for this one, so we just made it an introductory team. Marcus Valdez scanning the team builder on a the theme team. He's actually really still viable. Six four, two oh six with eighty eight speed. Obviously, the route runnings are the route runnings, but with eighty eight speed, he should still be able to separate a little bit from like the Tyreek Willens, the Sauce Gardens of the world. world. I'm actually really loving this Aaron Jones car. Now I have jukebox on him. I actually don't run the ball um, a lot. Um, but when I do, he's been fantastic. And that jukebox, I can really see it working. 88 speed. Um, it's been an absolute fantastic card. Now, there is an 85 AJ Dillon that I can get, but that's from a pre order so I'm unable to get it. Most of y'all know Aaron Rodgers, best quarterback in the game. Jim Taylor. This Alan Lazar card is surprisingly underrated, too. I think he's 6'4 or 6'5. Six, 6'5. Five. Um, six, five. He only has 86 speed, but with that big body, I've been, a, uh, I've been able to box a lot of people out. And obviously, we know how much height matters. Um, so this is the offense as usual. For some reason, the Packers are lacking when it comes to receivers. Obviously, they are going to have the, one of the best quarterbacks in the game all year with Aaron Rodgers. Um, obviously, there could be some more potential upgrades that will come that will help out this offense, maybe an Andre Ryzen and things like that. But, boys, when I tell you, I thought, y'all know how I heat praises on the Broncos defense. This Packers theme team defense is crazy. Let's have a look at it. Let's start off with the um, unsung hero captain or whatever, maybe Micah Hod. 90 speed a day one card is still usable um i am thinking about using the strategy cards to get his zone up to a 90 plus right now he's running the rare ball hawk strategy card because i think that one's better um but we shall see another new card that was just released last week zadarius smith this is one of the reasons why i waited to introduce it now also about time you guys are seeing this the packers already played because i believe they play the giants in london so about time you guys see this on my normal 7 p.m eastern you know upload time the Packers have already played hopefully they got the W but 86 speed he was we're rocking under pressure on him block shed 92 power move 92 not a great card by itself but on the theme tune team definitely does the job um, Ray Nishke, um released I believe a couple weeks ago this team has three linebackers that are crazy as you can see Ray Nishke, 90 speed 90 zone that's all you need to know about him so you can actually play him by himself um, we do run the he does run a 3-3 defense with three linebackers the second linebacker is ted hendricks from the um hispanic heritage promo and this is the user six seven two twenty the beauty about ted hendricks 
We can actually rush the passer with him as well. But as you can see, we actually don't need him to rush the passer. And we'll get on get into that in a little bit in a moment. But he is absolutely fantastic. He's basically the middle linebacker. And then you have the Seth Joyner card. You guys have seen me play with this card on my Broncos team team. I love it. Um, and the ability to have three linebackers on the field um, in that 3-3-5, three, three, it, it allows you to kind of stop the run too. Beauty about Seth Joyner, as you guys know, 91 zone. So again, you can put Lurk on him and play him by himself out there and he's not going to be completely lost and he actually will animate um, strong safety is a bit of a weak point um, at this point in time we're waiting to get to level 22 um, and we're going to get the Cordero Patterson and put it there um, the defensive line is fantastic we got Reggie Reggie White here um, so Reggie White and Zeus comes off the edge for him um, and Reggie White 88 speed the fastest Reggie White card I've ever probably seen this early in mutt but it's crazy and he gets two AP under pressure so that's pretty good. Obviously, Sam Adams in the middle. And then we have that man, Charles Woodson, the cornerback. 6'1", I believe, 202 um, is his weight. 93 speed, 94 zone, 93 man, 88 press. Absolute fantastic. One of the best corner, if not the best corner in the game. Probably is the best corner in the game. This Casey Hayward is vastly underrated here as well. Um, I believe he has 88 speed, 90 man, and 87 zone with the ball hawk strategy card. That's a good card. Still waiting for Jire to get a good card. Um, this Eric Stokes is low key. I actually still use this card. I don't know if it's actually going to let me show it. Um, yeah, because he has 88 speed. So I actually put him at safety and I use him. Um, so that's a real good budget option for them. Um, obviously, if I'm doing different things like dropping Ted Hendrick, Nisky, and Seth Joyner, got Kenny Clark who's getting an upgrade. This Jaron Reed is obviously from the Ultimate Kickoff promo as well. But the theme team, as you can see, man, they have everything. I think only thing I would be missing is another corner. I think another corner will make them fantastic because you can assign Casey Hayward. If Jair gets an upgrade or Russell Douglas, you can slide Casey Hayward down into the slot. You have two. They got good rushers. Um, they have obviously good middles. They have great users. Um, one good safety. Another good safety. Once Adrian Amos, Amos get an upgrade, they'll be all right. But that's the Packers theme team, 50 out of 50. Let me know down below. If anything else you want to see, if you have a theme team you want me showcase on the channel, like I said, I'm trying to do as many theme teams as possible. If I can get all 32, that'll be great. Um, this will be a team that'll be regularly on the channel. Um, like I said, because one of my buddies, I have access to his account. He'll let me use it. But to end off the video, you see we got about 6,500 training. I'm going to do about five training variety packs and see if we can get a bit glitchy. All right? Okay. All we have is five. Five training variety packs. Let's see if we can gl get glitchy. We did do this on stream. And we rolled about 170k, and we actually profited about 700k across both of my accounts. So you'll probably actually see that tomorrow. I'm actually going to chop that up and probably make that into a video tomorrow because um, it was a fantastic roll. It was actually a really good roll, especially because I bought training earlier on the week at like 21, 22 per, and obviously I was rolling it when it was like 25. So that turned out to be a W. Um, this is not necessarily turning out to be a W. 60k. Um, or 6k training is roughly about I think 127k Vaughn Miller that is a W 86 Vaughn okay we shall take that and can we walk it off with a fantastic pool of course not but appreciate you boys Packers theme team is on the channel if you have a theme team you want me to debut let me know down below let me know what you think until next time I'm signing out with that Maha salute not even a Maha salute let's do a Lambo leap just kidding. Deuces.